This is Doug Brunk with Global Medical News Network, reporting from an international conference of the American Thoracic Society in San Diego. During a poster session, I interviewed Dr. Timothy Quast of Walter Reed Army Medical Center about a study of 219 patients he presented that sheds new light on a long-established but poorly understood relationship between headache disorders and sleep disorders. Tell us what you found. Sure, thanks for asking. Uh, we wanted to evaluate the information that's been published in numerous textbooks that there is an association between uh, headache disorders, specifically awakening headache disorder and uh, sleep disorder breathing. Uh, and so we did a prospective trial of over 200 patients uh, evaluating uh, what specific uh, sleep parameters might be associated with a headache disorder. And uh, in a nutshell, what we found is that these patients who had headache disorders relative to their non-headache disorder counterparts tend to be younger, tend to feel more depressed, and based on an F4 sleepiness scale, tend to feel more tired. And uh, uh, interestingly, they actually had better sleep indices in terms of uh, less respiratory disturbances, less apneas, hypopneas, uh, less periodic leg movement uh, index, and actually a greater oxygen saturation. So these were unexpected findings uh, that we did not anticipate. We also found that, that folks that did have headache disorders and sleep disorder breathing, if they were to be compliant with their CPAP machine, that they could actually uh, lessen or ameliorate their headache disorder. So we, ver we validated the idea that there is a strong association between uh, awakening or morning headache and sleep disorder breathing and also the fact that if you're compliant with CPAP and you had a headache and sleep disorder breathing that you could help ameliorate those symptoms. Okay. 